Hey guys, so this is my next Halloween tutorial and this one is based on Bride of Frankenstein, if you can't tell, hopefully you can. Um, so it's going to be in a couple of different parts. I did the hair in one video which you can see a link to here. Um, and I did two different variations of the makeup. So both of them are relatively simple. Um, the base and everything is the same for them. I did go back with this one and deepen the contour a little bit more so that it's just a little bit sharper and more dramatic. Uh, and I darkened the eye. So if you want, you can use this one, which is a slightly heavier version um, with a smoky eye and a kind of more of a Tim Burton feel to me, slightly more um, natural or more slightly more true to the original movie. Um, the eye is a little bit lighter. The, the lips and the eyebrows are the same, the base is essentially the same, but the lips are just a little bit lighter. So I hope that you enjoy it and stay tuned to see them. I'm blocking out the second half of my eyebrows using the glue stick technique. There's heaps of tutorials that will teach you how to do this if you just search it on YouTube. Basically you just want to scrape the hairs down really nice and flat and then scrape away all excess glue so that you have a thin edge. Go over top of that with a setting powder so that it doesn't stick. My foundation, I'm applying a colour that's a couple of shades lighter than my normal skin tone so that I have a really pale base and I'm using a Graftobian foundation for this. I'm using a cream concealer by Kryolan to go over the colour of my eyebrows, just using a small concealing brush. Once I've applied the colour, I'm just going to blend it out so that it blends in with the rest of the foundation, and then I'm going to set it with powder. If you have dark brows, you may need to go over a couple of times until you've got a really good coverage. Next I'm applying a white foundation to the high points of my face. The foundation that I'm using is Illamasqua's Skin Base in their white colour. You could also use a cream foundation for this. Using a brush or sponge or even your finger, blend that white highlight into the rest of your foundation. This is also going to help pale out your complexion slightly more. Using a damp sponge, I'm going to apply a darker cream colour to my contour. I'm applying it much higher on my cheekbones than I normally would, which is going to help subtly change the facial structure and make it look like I have very high cheekbones. I'm also going to apply it to the temples, the side of my nose and under my jaw. Once you've put down where you want your contour colour, go back in with the sponge and gently blend it out so that it blends in nicely with the rest of your skin. Set your foundation by using a translucent powder and a powder puff. I'm then going to prime my lids by using Too Faced Shadow Insurance and I'm applying that up onto my brow bone a little bit just to make sure the colour grabs where I've blocked out my brows. Use a light matte coloured eyeshadow all over your entire lid, this is going to help with blending later on. If you want to, you can mark out exactly where you're going to fill in your brows by using a light coloured brow pencil, this will help you get them symmetrical later on. Bringing the bottom edge of my eyebrows at the start of my eyebrows into a point towards the bridge of my nose. This is similar to the shape that she has in the movie. I'm then going to fill in the rest of my brows using a dark matte coloured eyeshadow and an angle brush. And I'm going to extend them up slightly. Give them a little bit of a lift up towards my temples. If you need to sharpen up the edge of your eyebrows or if you made a mistake, don't panic at all. Just take a small concealer brush and use your concealer to sharpen up the line. I'm drawing in my lip shape by using a grey pencil. This is going to help take away the colour of my lips. And then I'm going to fill it in slightly but not too much so the centre is free. This will help give a three dimensional lip when my lipstick goes over top. I'm then going to take a concealer and block out the ends of my lips so that I have more of a bee stung effect. Similar to the 1920s lip shape. I'm filling in my lips by using a deep red. The colour that I'm using is OCC's Vintage Lip Tar. I just want something that's slightly off red. This has a brownish undertone rather than being a really vibrant red. I want the colours to be a little bit more subdued. And you can decide whether you prefer to do this in grey tones or brown tones. Taking a small angle brush, I'm using colour 358 by Inglot and I'm lining my lower lash line as well as my top lash line. You want to use small flicking motions and gradually flick the product up so it gives a slightly blended effect. I'm 
I'm then taking a really stiff pencil brush and I'm just going to run that back and forth gently over the top of the eyeshadow. This is just going to blend it out a little bit more. Using brush number 10S by Inglot, which is a really fine blending brush, I'm applying some of colour 107R by Inglot into the crease. I'm not connecting this with the eyeliner, just putting it in to add a little bit of definition. I'm then going to line my eyes with a bit of gel liner, and the one that I'm using today is Max Black Track. Then curl your lashes and apply some mascara. Add some mascara onto your lower lashes. The scar, take a black eyeliner and begin by drawing a line from the top of your ear down to your jaw. Then from behind the back of your neck, connecting with that line and continuing all the way around your neck into the other side of your hair. To add a little something extra to it, take a matte pink eyeshadow and dust it over top of the line. Then take a lighter eyeshadow and dust that on either side. This is going to help make it a little bit more 3D as if it is actually flesh that's been sewn back together and semi-healed. Finish by taking your eyeliner again and just drawing some uneven and jagged stitching all the way around. To complete this look, all you need is a pair of false eyelashes. For the darker eye, I'm going to use colour 363 by Inglot. I'm going to apply that colour all the way from my lash line up into my crease. Be sure to work the colour into the inner and outer corner of your eye as well, and try to give a rounded shape if you can. I'm also going to apply colour number 390 onto the centre of my eye. Take a dark brown eyeshadow mixed with a tiny bit of black, I'll list the colours that I've used in the box below. Apply that to the inner and outer corner, as well as along the bottom lash line. Again taking the S10 blending brush, I'm going to use the same colours in the crease. With whatever's remaining on the brush, just run it under the eye to smudge out the colour. You can then use a big fluffy brush to blend out any harsh lines. Brush away the powder you used to catch any fallout, and apply a black gel liner to your lash line. Again I'm using Max Black Track. Curl your lashes and apply mascara, and then apply some false lashes. I'm going back in to re-deepen And that's it! Please feel free to rate, comment and subscribe. You can also follow my Facebook page under my business name, Alchemy Makeup Artistry. There's a link in the box below. Happy Halloween!